everybody. So today I'm gonna flash my router. I've got a Linksys WRT160N version 3 here and I am gonna flash this baby with some new firmware. So this is how you do a hard reset. I'm gonna, this is a 30-30-30 hard reset they're called. So I'm gonna get my clock open here and with the power still plugged in you press and hold the reset button on the back for 30 seconds and this is actually going to take 90 freaking seconds so I hope it's not too bad now what I've done so far is um, I've got online and obtained the latest piece of firmware for this specific router. Every router is very specific. You have to really be careful on, on what you get. So it's been 30 seconds and we pull the plug, pull the power plug out while we keep holding the reset button down. Never let go of it during this whole procedure. Anyway, if you're going to do this, I really would strongly urge you to uh, get online to like W uh, D D W R T or Tomato or, or whatever firmware you're going to use, and really do your research because it it can you can break your router really easy if you don't do it right. And I'm not saying this is exactly right either. I will never guarantee that. But I've done it a few times. It seems to work out. Okay, so now I've held it for 30 seconds with power, without, and now with again. So, now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and let it boot, let it reboot, and I'll uh, come right back. All right, so here we are back, and I'm going to access my router here. I really want to emphasize to please read the directions. Before you do anything of anything with these routers. Okay, so now I've accessed my router and on this particular one I can go to firmware upgrade in the administration tab and choose my file and hit upgrade. And this will take a couple minutes. And it's done. So mine, when it got done uh, upgrading the firmware, it brought me back to the main setup page here. So now I need to do another 30, 30, 30 hard reset. Okay, so after the firmware upgrade is complete, and I forgot my clock again, then you need to do another 30, 30, 30 reset. So hold down the reset button, power it up, remove the power for 30 seconds and plug it back in for 30 seconds. Now you know I've done things like disabled my wireless adapter on my laptop in the other room and there's a lot of precautions that you really need to take when you when you're gonna flash a router unpowered for 30 seconds now but yeah guys if you're gonna if you're gonna flash your router and you don't want it to be a really bad day um, you really need to do some reading on the forums you know find the thread on uh, you know find the directions on exactly how to flash your specific router um, you know if you don't you're gonna end up with a a little doorstop 
that isn't really worth much of anything. But once you do, you know, this once you do it right, this DDWRT is actually really good stuff. It uh, I've got another video on it to, that kind of explains it a little bit, but I'm sure a lot of you guys are a lot more knowledgeable than me on networking and stuff and uh, really has a lot of good features. Okay, so there's our hard 30-30-30 reset. And I'll kind of show you uh, what, what you do from here. I thought it might be worth mentioning that on this specific router, the WRT160N version 3, after each hard reset, I have to cycle the power, unplug the power for 10 seconds and plug it back in. So, in order to make it work, that's what I got to do on this one. And after the second 30, 30, 30 hard reset, you need to access your router and change the password on this specific uh, firmware, DDWRT. Okay, so that is pretty much pretty much the end of it. All you have to do now is go through and uh, reset up your router. Um, as you can see there, I have upgraded from one from 142 something to 143.11. So one of the main things you have to do is come back in and reset your security settings. Now I and that's pretty much it with this stuff. You just come back in here, redo your security settings, make sure your laptop and wireless devices can connect, and you're done. You've upgraded your firmware. So you guys have a great day. Talk to you soon.